I'm on a mission to dance. Ballroom dance. I've got three months to get from total novice and learn a thing to semi professional. It'll take dedication, it'll take commitment. Oh, God, it's exhausting. Eight and one. And along the way, I'll have to take the blows and confront some awkward truths. I'm getting fatter. I'm dancing and I'm getting fatter. I'm looking at Rocket Caramac. My final quest will be to compete in the Pro-Am division of the San Francisco Open Dance Sport Championships. My dancing will be tested to the limit. My toes will have to twinkle like they've never twinkled before. I'm in Blackpool on a frosty Saturday night in December, dressed in my very finest togs. Because tonight, I'll be attending the British Ballroom Dancing Championships held at Blackpool's Winter Gardens. It'll be a chance to rekindle an old spark. Come Dancing was my favourite show on TV. If you ask my mum, my favourite show was on television. It was Come Dancing. I don't quite know why, but I loved it. danced, never, well, aside from, you know, at the disco, never even attempted ballroom dancing. As a dancer, I'm a total novice, but I'm hoping I've got some natural ability. I've got happy feet. I've got happy feet. I have. I just can't help myself. I can move in time and I can, you know, hold a note and a work a beat. I don't know what I'm talking about. As the evening continues, judges whittle down the numbers of competitors. But as I drink it all in, I'm struck by a troubling thought. It's not just the fact that not one man here has a beard. None of them look anything like me. They're very, very slim and in very, very good shape. They really are. I don't have the feel for it. There would be a certain level of embarrassment, particularly because of the shape that I'm currently in, if I was to go out there wearing an, you know, a very open, very transparent, very tight shirt with those very tight pants that they wear. Yeah, because of the, the shape I'm in, that I would be, I would feel uncomfortable. I would feel self-conscious. Some of the classic ballroom dances, like the foxtrot and waltz, call for bucket loads of sophistication and an almost regal disposition. And again, not one beard in sight. They're gliding around a room with that elegance that I don't have. I'm not elegant. I'm not going to pretend that I'm elegant in any way, shape or form. I'm not. I've got flat feet, I've got fallen arches, and I don't have that kind of elegance or grace around a dance floor, I don't think. Later, backstage, I meet the winners of the Latin American competition, Gregor and Lisa, in the hope of a little encouragement. I'm going to hope for, I'm going to learn how to dance. It's a lot of hard work. How much work would I have to put in? Well, we practice what, six, five, six hours every day, Monday to Friday. And the beard is a bit questionable, you know. The young ones, we're okay with it, you know, but like the... Yeah, it's the older judges. Traditional they... judges, it's yeah. then... Really? It yeah. can be yeah, a what, bit tricky with them. What, you, I could be marked down for having bad facial hair? Questionable. Really? I'm very scruffy, this is... It's not <laughs> ideal for me, I'm not clean cut. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm too rough for this. You know, maybe the diamond's too rough. Maybe I'm just a lump of coal. It's been an education and a humbling one at that. Dancing of such an incredibly high standard. Even the children here could wipe the floor with me. It's hard to imagine me ever looking like a ballroom dancer and getting the hang of this. Hard, but not impossible. Why not? Why can't I do it? I really, really want to be good at it. I really want to do it. I've always wanted to give it a go. I'll train all day, every day, seven days a week. I'll put the time in. 
because I really love it. I'm a passion for it. Coming up, training begins. Nobody said this was going to be easy. I don't know what I'm doing. Stay there. Nobody said it was going to be this hard. Oh, God, it's exhausting. But everyone's got an opinion. You're always wrong. I'm on a mission to become a ballroom dancer, but training so far has been purely hypothetical. Thankfully, my wife Karen has agreed to help me get started. We're off to a local salsa class for beginners. Have you ever done this before? Never in my life, no. It's your very first dance lesson of all time. Yeah. Karen has danced as a, as a kid and she's won medals. I only did it until I was about 11 years old, <laughs> so it's a while ago. Before we're going to come back. She came yeah. first, second, and third, though, in the cha cha. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. No, you do bronze, silver, and gold. Different levels. It's like level one, two, three. It's different levels. I did the waltz. I could do the quick step. But you never cha cha Never salsa Never salsa First time salsa We've never salsa I mean, if you can... If you can sing a bit, then surely you should be able to move, shouldn't you? Or should you? Well, no, look at Lionel Richie. Our teacher tonight is Eugenie, and she starts us off with some gentle salsa-based warm-up exercises. Nothing too strenuous, and my hips respond well. But within five minutes, things begin to unravel super fast. This is a lesson, but this pupil feels like he's being left behind. Never did the words left and right sound so confusing. Advanced this class. Yeah. Is this the advanced class? Coming through the wrong door. Let's try this, just a little bit. So you see, put your arms in front of her arm, and that's it. So we go, she turns in two. Can little... I see that again, please? Yes. I was the only one in that room not having any fun whatsoever. Yeah. I didn't yeah. learn a thing. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Stay there. I want the people saying, right, this is what you have to do, and some of them going, right, come on, count, right, on the two. I don't know what I'm talking about, but do you know what I mean? I want the people saying things like on the two. Yeah. I was starting to get a bit narky. Do you know the basket? No, I don't know the basket. No, I don't. You lift your left arm. Yes. And I lift my right. Yes. And I envelop myself in it. And then out the basket, and out the basket. I'm in the basket. I'm out of the basket. That way to get in the basket. I'm in the... Oh, no, 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 it's just... You go in the basket. I go in the basket. Go in the basket. Okay, turn me then. Turn me. You go in the basket. Come in the basket. That is the basket. That's not the basket. <laughs> that is the basket. You need to do my hands like that. Right, go in the basket. Okay, that. Get out of the basket. That. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's really tough. I want to have someone opposite me who's going to go, no, who knows exactly in their head what they're doing. You need a different type of class. You need to learn it properly and professionally to be in a competition. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to compete in a pro-am event. You just sort of forget about tonight, really. Yeah. If we can, is that all right? Yeah. Just sort of forget about it. It's a setback. I came here knowing nothing about dancing. I leave knowing slightly less. My project needs a different approach. The following night, I'm in London. It turns out there's a party this evening where all the most famous dancers in the country are going to be. And we've managed to get me an invite. Karen Hardy, ballroom dancing professional and star of Strictly Come Dancing, is opening her new dance studio tonight in Chelsea. I need someone to be my trainer, my mentor, and perhaps even my dancing partner. And they don't come any better than Karen Hardy. I'm a big fan of hers. Never met her before in my life. I think she's great. Does she want to actually train me, put all that work and effort into me to get me to the standard where I can go to America and take part in a pro-am event? Does she want that? Does she need that? She, doesn't, she probably doesn't need it, but does she still have the hunger? This is proper competition. Is she still hungry for proper competition? Yeah, how hungry are you? Because I'm starving. Oh, actually, I'm not that hungry, really. I've wasted my time. I wish you well in your endeavours. I'm just going to go and speak to Camilla Dallarup. Because she looks peckish. Hello. 
Oh, yes, please. Thanks very much. Thank you. Everybody who's anybody in the UK's ballroom dancing scene is here tonight. Brendan Cole, Flavia Kakacha, Erin Bogue, Matthew Cutler, even the woman John Sargent dragged across the floor on TV, Christina Riamoff. And, of course, the lady of the hour, Karen Hardy. I managed to drag her outside to hear my plea. Now, you are my favourite Strictly Come Dancing dancer in history. I'm here to ask you if you wouldn't mind training me, teaching me, mentoring me. That would be an absolute honour. Are you serious? I'm serious. Are we going to do it? Now, are you a hard worker? Yes. You know they take it really serious in America. Do they? Yeah, it's not a joke out there. It's, it's full on. Is there enough time, seriously? Uh, if you can give me the hours, yes, we'll make time. I'll give you the hours. I swear I'll give you the hours. I have a teacher, and she's the best in the business. There can and will be no excuse if I fail now. But all that's for another day. Tonight, let's dance. A week later, Good. fitted out with my new dance shoes, training begins. Replace. Heel. That's not heel. The Pro-Am competition in San Francisco is now only ten weeks away. I've signed up for two three-hour lessons with Karen a week. So the judges will pick up on your footwork. Remember, you've got to make that clear. Nice. Um, uh, whoa, no. <laughs> Karen begins by teaching me the most basic of basics and taking baby steps and not very well either. Not your finest hour? No. <laughs> We're going to do a lot of work on this because good dancers are good turners. Yeah. Yeah? Good. Not so good. Not so good. Toe. Before training can progress, Karen has to decide what sort of dancing suits me. Elegant good. ballroom? or sensual Latin American. Good. When I was first thinking about what dance we are going to choose, immediately I went, Latin. I think I can see him doing Latin because he's vibrant and he's, you know, he's wild and, and, you know, that's what us Latin people are normally like. I'm happy to be going Latin American. Elegant ballroom was always going to be a foxtrot too far and we soon settle on the Paso Doble. Paso Doble is what we call the man's dance. So he's either the matador He's the flamenco man. He's just the man that's in the street that's got a knife in his back pocket. So he's always the man that's out there doing the deadly deed. In the Paso, it's all about you're the man, you're in charge, right? You're the strong one and you lead me. Right, so we might be doing steps where yeah. you're a pal and that, that means for me to pay attention. Yeah? Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're literally stamping your foot saying, look at me. Are you supposed to be a matador? I'm a matador. You're a matador? Yeah. I'm a matador, and uh, Karen is the is the cape. It's a cape. Okay. Is that right? I'm not quite sure. If, is she the cape or the ball? It's one of the most powerful dances that we do on the dance floor, but you have to mentally understand it before you can physically take it on. He's getting the steps. That's the main thing. I love it, I really love it. I love the Paso. I'm really having a good time. Away from the studio, I have to at least try to keep practising. But these dance shoes and the living room carpet are not a match made in heaven. And the sofa's putting me off too. One, two, three, four. Why have I lost that? That's ridiculous. That's completely ridiculous. I can't do it on my own at home is that I need to be with her and in a studio, otherwise it just completely goes. Thankfully, Archie's on hand to give me constructive feedback. You wanna watch my Paso Doble? Yeah. Yeah, you wanna see that? Are you just gonna sit down? I'll show you a pal. This is that. Yeah. Right, that's the one. One, two, three. That's right, thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. Yeah. Seven. Seven. Do it, do it. Alright, yeah. I, I'll show you what the real one is. Alright, you show me. Alright, you show me. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So then, you have to stamp that leg, go that side, and then stamp that leg and go to the other side. Right. Is that what it is? Try and do it like me. Okay. Stamp, side, side, sides. I've just got a complete mental block, Parch. Stamp, 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 stamp. And then do the star jumps. <laughs> <laughs> and then the star jumps, is it? Yeah. You could do star jumps. You could do this, curtsy, and bow. I could, you could? You curtsy and bow. You could? My lessons in London are three hours long. We're going to have good days and we're going to have bad days. Oh, God, it's exhausting. It really is exhausting. I'm going to challenge him. Long He's going to feel like it's uphill, 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 uphill. Lunch. What the Dickens and Jones is that now? Three hours is a lot. Because it is a workout, it's a great workout. It's like spending three hours in the gym, you know? You spend three hours in the gym, you'd be tired, wouldn't you? I mean, I'm huffing and puffing, and I've, I've only just really worked the, the first stage of the routine. Fitness-wise and athleticness-wise, if there is such a word, it's horrendous. As the weeks pass, there's one issue that seems to be dwarfing all others. It's the elephant in the room, and I think I'm the elephant. My legs aren't fat, my arms aren't fat, it's all here. It's all around the gut, it's all here, that's where it goes. He's gonna have to drop a few kilos, and because uh, even though the dance was for just under two minutes, it's very intense, it's very hard work. If you're not fit, you won't make it through. Is she concerned about my weight, is she? Yeah, she's a bit concerned about your weight. Is she? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit miffed. Is she? I don't need Karen to, to make me aware of the fact that I'm overweight and I need to get in shape. I know full well. No one knows better than me, you know. Because so I have to see me naked as well. I mean, Karen's just seeing me with my clothes on. Try seeing me naked, then she'll have a shock. I just hope he doesn't take it personal. The diet, the losing weight, the getting fit, all that kind of stuff, how's that going? It's not. I've, I've actually put on weight. I'm getting fatter. I'm dancing and I'm getting fatter. Dance yourself fat? Yeah, that's my new DVD out this Christmas. It's my, uh, my ironic spin on the whole uh, dance workout market. Dance yourself fat. There's no getting away from it. I'm a fat matador. So 95, it's 15 stone something. But I'm trying to do something about it. I'm serious about this mission, and I need the right people to know that. I can hear myself trying to convince Karen Hardy, for example. You know, I can hear myself saying, I'll give you 100%. I'm taking this seriously. One, two, three, four. Dance is now a big part of my life. Counting to eight is starting to take over. And when it comes to counting, Archie and I have a difference of opinion. In this dance, we count, it's five, six, seven, then it's eight and no, one. No, 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 One, six, seven, eight. No. Five, six, seven, eight. No, 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 no. You're always wrong. And he even suggests a radical new way of counting. One, two, three, four. Shaz-a-dee. What's Shaz-a-dee? That's another way from counting. Is that...? Yeah, that, the other way. Is that Shaz D was as, as is. What's like that? that? Is that counting in a foreign language? Yeah. Wh which language? South Pole. South Pole? Yeah. Is that how they count in the South Pole? Yeah. <laughs> what? That's how they count, count in, the, in the winter. What, in the South Pole? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's how you count in the, in the summer. Yeah. But only when the sun is shining bright. But only in the whole 
water. Okay. Not at the beach. I finally started losing the weight, which is a good thing. But the pressure is increasing now for both of us. Karen is saying to me, be the man, be strong. I'm going to show her some man. I'm going to show her a lot of man. It's going to man all over the place. I feel like I know the routine now, and I'd hope that Karen and I would soon start to feel like dance partners. But the truth is, I'm still her pupil. I mean, I'm very aware that I'm back at school. And uh, I wasn't very good at school, you know, I didn't take kindly to uh, being taught. Pivot, lunge, push, run there, step. It's not like I'm finding a partner, you know? I'm just being taught and I'll, I'll dance with my teacher at the end of it. Two, three, four, five. Because normally you would be starting out with a dance partner at the same time, wouldn't you? or you would both be professionals, or you would both be of a certain standard. Let's try and improve on that. Absolutely. Next time we do it. You will see an improvement on that. That was rubbish. Yeah. But this, this tournament is pro-am. It's not pro-pro, and it's not am-am. It's pro-am. So one of us has got to be the am. Oh, fuck. That's wrong, clearly. The golf and expertise between Karen and I is massive. <laughs> I'm with someone who's not only a, like a, a pro, but was like the best in the world. The, the best in the world. Will there be a couple where one half of the partnership is the former best in the world, world, world number one, and the other partner is just shit? Coming up, with only one week to go till the competition, it's time for this pupil to leave school. I want you to be brutally honest. What do you do, scream at somebody? I'm not going to carry you through. Time to become a dancing matador for real. There's now only one week before I compete at a pro-am ballroom dancing competition. It's the last phase of my training, and Karen's brought me to a dance club in Norbury, South London. I need to experience dancing on a crowded floor, as it will be at the competition. The space that you're in is their space. It's a battle for every spot on the dance floor. And it's a dance-off for every centimetre of that floor. So when I turned and yeah. the, the, the blonde-haired guy yeah. was right there and I was yeah. going to do my... Yeah. And I didn't because he was right there. Yeah. Should I have just done it anyway? Without touching him. There would have been a really intense dance-off and there would have been a gap of about a centimetre between the two of them. I really enjoyed that. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. I thought strong. Yeah, you looked strong. No, you're just saying that, though, because I know, I know you're just saying it. I want you to be brutally honest, because I know you're saying things, but you're just saying it. I want you to be Could brutally honest. Could you have done honest. more? What, tonight up there? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can do more. I lead a horse to the water, you've got to drink it. If you didn't do enough up there, you'd let yourself down. OK. Yeah, I did my job up there. I'm not going to carry you through. I don't yeah. want you to. Right. So, you've lost a valuable evening. You could have done more. Why didn't you do more? Only you can deal with that. Oh, maybe this has come back the other way now. Is it not what I was a shit? Just all I say is, just always try and do more. Always do your best. Deliver the goods. That's all you got to do. I didn't deliver the goods, did I? Not all of it. All right. How many goods? How many goods got delivered? 50%. All right. I wasn't just going to stand here and be happy with, you did well, keep practising, see you next week. It's like, oh, I want more than that. I'm looking for something, Will. I'm looking for something that I don't feel I'm getting. You're looking to change this from a teacher, teacher and pupil? Yes, so. I am. I, I want to be a partner, not a pupil. What a daft thing to say, because I'm a big, total beginner. She's like a former world number one, like, the, you know, the best there is. 
I want to be a part of what the what on earth am I talking about? But that's kind of how I feel. And it was a silly thing to say because I'm 35 almost. And I've just started. And there were people, you know, we're dancing with people up there that have probably been dancing since they were six, seven, eight. You know, people start when they're kids. Karen probably started when she was a kid. And they've been doing it years. And I've been doing it six weeks. And I'm going, I want to be a partner, not a pupil. It's just daft. This novice has had a big moment of realisation. My partner for the Pro-Am competition, whoever she might be, can't be my teacher too. How can I be the matador? How can I lead? How can I be the man? When I'm the student, I'm the pupil. When I'm coming to school. With only days to go, this Am needs to find a pro. Someone I can compete with on equal terms. Someone who will really be a partner. With Karen's permission and help, a pro is found. Yeah. I have a lady for you. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. Nice to meet you, I'm nice Justin. To meet you. Very nice to meet you, Leslie. Nice Leslie, nice this is Justin. Nice to meet you. And uh, you're going to be doing a pasta doble together out in the States, out in the US. He's been working really hard. It's like handing over a son, or it's the first day your child goes to school, is what it feels like. So it's going to be as nervous for him as it is for me. They've got to gel very, very quickly, and we've got to hope that that's going to happen as soon as possible. If I've given him all the training, and if he remembers it, this is the problem. He's got to remember frame, he's got to remember timing, he's got to remember how to lead a lady. My fear is remembering all that under pressure. Lesia has only three days to learn the routine. She's a professional ballroom dancer, although she specialises in elegant ballroom rather than Latin American. But I think that's a good thing. I've got a pro dancer who is, to an extent, being taken out of her comfort zone. And she's doing something new, so we can be a partnership. There are so many wonderful sights to see in San Francisco, but we won't see any of them, because we're here on business. Dance business. I dance tomorrow but there's still a lot to do. And first on the agenda is getting a tan. All dancers have great tans, and I'm as pale as milk. So across tang, Leslie and I hit the beauticians. We'll be a few shades darker immediately after you spray, but in totality, you should be a few shades darker than your natural color, but still looking very natural. Oh yeah, just put it my ears. A little nervous, I'm led straight to the tanning booth to be prepared for spraying. Well, yeah, because they'll be seen once your hair is slipped. I should leave my ears out because I don't want really white ears, do I? So I just need to spray. Is that it? Yes. I'm pressing the blue now. Press the green. Turn around now. Turn around. It's stop now. Turn around now. Yes. <laughs> wrong feet. Wrong feet. Is it this one? Yes. <laughs> I'm a shade or two darker, but I want more tan. I think I'm hooked. If you want to go again, go again. And maybe you'll have to shower a few hours earlier because you may start turning very dark. So I, I think we should go again. Go I again. think so too. I can't get enough of it. And while I'm getting sprayed to high heaven, Lesia works on her tan too. <laughs> this is what you've got to do, isn't it? Yeah. This is what you have to do. This is the dancer's life, you know. Yeah. If you want to be taken seriously in this profession, then this is what you have to do. Yeah, you know, I think I can go darker, though. Yeah, you can. I might come back, Will, for more spray. I think I can go darker than this. Will I go darker over the next few hours, or is this yes. it now? No, it's not it. I'll go darker. Said. Yes. Because yeah. right now I think I, I, I can go darker. You have what we call tanorexia right now. People that are very are tan, but they don't realize it. Just like when you're thin and you don't realize it. You don't realize how tan you are right now, and you're going to get tanner. Really? <laughs> so when yeah, I'm you are going to get tanner. 
You don't yeah, realize how much darker I... you are than you were. Uh, well, take your Android my... down a little bit. Because I'm anorexic. <laughs> I can't see this. <laughs> Not only have I received a tan, I'm going away with a whole new condition. Back at the hotel, it's time to check out the opposition and register for tomorrow's Paso Doble competitions. Yes. yes That's us, please. Sorry. All right. Hello. Uh, I need a last name, please. Collins. Okay. Just to Collins. Yes. All righty. What competitions do we have tonight? We have a little bit of everything tonight. We settle down to watch an evening of dancing at all levels of ability, from amateur to pro-am to strictly pro. Dancers have come from all over the world. This is their moment to shine. and hours of competitions on tonight. Dancing the rumba from Fairfield, New Jersey, couple three. Lots seven, of different two, dances, three, lots of different levels of ability. But what strikes me most is that for every single one, whether amateur, professional or anything in between, there's an award ceremony. There are quite literally hundreds of them. The third place award to Trisha and Moore, no second place award on this event, but a tie for first to Jeff Hudson and Henry Chow. First place award to Gary Marshall and Kevin Moore Prayer and Lydia Howell. He never three and what with the incessant giving of awards, the whole night feels like a marathon. Heat number 388 in the Samba, the first place award to Alex Kern, third place to Christina Graver, second place to Jackie De Souza. first place award to... I need to check my costume for tomorrow before I go to bed. But to be honest, I'm not really in the mood. Oh, fuck it. What was that? Any confidence I had Jira. seems to be fast disappearing. I'm passoed out at the moment, Will. I really am. I really am. Yeah. The pressures of competition have got to me. The only ray of sunshine is that after months of dieting, I have now lost three stone. I don't know, before Christmas, where would it have been? Second or third one in? But now it's around there. And my jeans are still around my ass. Have I lost my ass? There's no ass there. Next morning, and I'm still chewing over everything I saw last night. Maybe it's that sense of, of competing, of competition, which is always... It's never sat well with me, that, the, the competing. You know? Competition. I don't... don't really care about winning anything, in that sense. I never have. It's not important to me to win. What's important to me is to love it. Is to love it. Just really love it. You know, there's been a lot of practice, there's been a lot of teaching, going over the same things over and over and over and over. The time now is just to dance. It's just to put the clothes on and go out and dance. As I sit here, I don't want to dance. I actually don't want to do it. You don't want to do it? No. No. Because it's not a nice app, you don't think you're going to enjoy the app? I don't think I'm going to enjoy it. Downstairs, our competitors are already limbering up. But upstairs, the big news is that my spray tan hasn't worked. I'm as pale as ever, and my body is now even rejecting makeup. Why doesn't it take on me? I'm What's not up with me? Really sure. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Specifically, a product called Sexy Legs. <sighs> well, it's a bit too close, isn't it? How's that? That's good. I look a bit like a Caramac. I look like a Caramac. I think that's the right colour. Caramac? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Lesia and I will dance in three different categories of Paso Doble. The bronze standard, the silver, and the highest, gold. 
and there's now only 10 minutes until the bronze competition starts. It's the combination of love story, of passion between strong man and a woman. So it's basically a combination of two strong characters together on the floor. How they live, how they love together, how they fight. Basically life for two minutes. Well, Pasa Doble definitely is a uh, story about the matador and the cape. And I always feel that he should always portray that he is actually dancing with a cape. You look great. You look like a real matador. Do I? Yeah. Thank you. And I'm the cape, not the ball. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. I know you're the cape. <laughs> I'm just going to go out there and I'm going to lead you. So. Good. I'm leading. So I'm the matador. I'm leading. The judges are in place. Heat number 397 is called to the floor. The bronze category of Pro Am Paso Doble. Couples on the dancer judges for a dance. Thank you, couples. Here we go. Paso Doble music, please. to lead and lead I do initially navigating a path through the traffic well but soon we're hurtling towards another couple after the impact it's hard to concentrate and I'm so nervous I'm unable to breathe I'm not breathing now It's been a bruising bronze standard encounter, but our first dance is in the bag. You're actually doing a really great job leading me during the dance. Am I? You're not doing a good job when you have to walk me onto the floor. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. It's I'll okay. do it better. Can we practice it? What do we need to do? There are only a few minutes to practice until we're on again for the silver category. It's even more crowded this time, but we successfully managed not to crash into anyone. The floor here is slippery, and as we get to the end of our routine, I know it's been far from perfect. But even more importantly, I feel gripped by a powerful and surprising feeling that's come out of nowhere. I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, I'm starting to love it. Well, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm back in love. Maybe I'm falling back in love with it. But it's coming back. The love's coming back. My Paso Doble mojo has returned to me. The love is back, and I have just one more dance to express it. All that's left is the gold standard category of Pro Am Paso Doble. All roads have led to this point. Three months of training, three stones of weight loss. Our fate will now be decided in less than three minutes of dance. At the San Francisco Open, myself and my partner, Lesia, are seconds away from dancing the gold standard Pro-Am Paso Doble competition. This is our last chance. Go Rana! Go Rana! Go Rana! Go Rana! We have seven doubles on the dance floor and Paso Doble. Music players. Stop, stop,
Yeah. And the twist, but that was all right, obviously. That's fine. Do you think we peaked with the goal? We've done all we can. Now all we can do is wait for the awards to be announced. They're given in ascending order, starting with the placings for the bronze standard Paso Doble. In heat number 397, and the Paso Doble, we have second place award to Trisha and Warren, first place award to Justin Lee Collins. It's a dream start. Trisha and Warren, a second place award to Tammy. Next up, the silver. In heat number 403, and the Paso Doble, we have a second place award to Heidi Boyd. First place award to Justin Lee Collins. And the dream continues. First place in the silver category. All that's left now is gold. In heat number 408, in the Paso Doble, we have a third place award to Natasha Zarazevskaya. A second place award to Iri Minagawa. A first place award to Hunter Stevens. A third well, a podium placing in the gold is not to be. Find out how she plays in the but Lesia later learns that we were only just off it, coming fourth out of seven couples in the gold standard Paso Doble competition. Oh yeah. Oh One bronze. Oh One two. Yeah. Well, we did. We did. In the open gold, we had about, I believe, seven couples. We were fourth. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty good. Gold. In the gold category, we came fourth out of seven couples. Out of seven couples. But I didn't come here for these, Will. It's not about this for me. I came to dance. And how was it? It was great. It was great. I loved it. Thank you. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thanks very much. Thanks, Lesia. You're welcome. Thank you very much indeed. So I did too. Thank you. From one of these? No, they're yours. Okay. For your hard work and determination. Yeah. And wonderful floor craft. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna have a beer maybe now. What was that? You want a beer? That's I don't drink beer. beer. Do you want a vodka? Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Let's do that. And a first place award to Hunter Stevens. We have a third place award to the Rain People. My ballroom dancing odyssey is nearly at an end, and from this vantage point. I can see the journey I've travelled all the more clearly. I lost sight of it a little bit maybe along the way and I, I also lost the love for it. I lost the passion. Uh, so it was about finding that again. I didn't think I was going to find it. I don't think that was going to come back. I thought that was gone and lost forever because of the amount of repetition, because of the, you know, the number of times that I've done it, the number of hours I've been in that studio with Karen doing the same things over and over. The passion went well passion for it went um, but it came back yesterday <clears throat> it really did it came back it was like a little triumph for me you know An incredible transformation. Will next week's challenge be a breeze, or will the breeze blow him off his surfboard? Justin hits the waves next Thursday at 10. Stay with us for Fringe in a moment here on Sky One and Sky One HD.